In this video, we are going to implement a specification. The chosen example is a state machine containing four states E0, E1, E2, and E3 that we are going to animate. We first create a context machine containing only sets and constants. Status contains the four different states. S0 represents the initial state of the state machine. Next is an abstract constant that represents the sequence of possible state changes. It is used for modeling and proof, but will not be implemented. The implementation of the context machine consists in giving a value to the constant S0 that will be used by the software every time it will be referred to. Status is already defined as an enumeration. The machine M0 describes the service operate in charge of animating the state machine. Its state is represented by the variable status. Status is initialized with S0. With the operation operate, the variable status is modified, such as the transition appears in the constant next. The operation operate is implemented with a local operation op next, which computes the next status based on its current value. We can check that if the body of the operation op next is modified, the mistake is detected by the proof when saving the file. We select the two implementations, CTXI and M0I, and we generate the code. The code generated is quite close from the implementation model. The default translation profile prefixes identifiers with the component name. Consider that opnext was already developed without B. We can define a basic machine lib containing the B specification of the operation and a skip body. We need to import the machine lib in M0i to comment the specification and body of opnext, then replace the call to opnext by a call to lib next. The project is proved, but to ensure that everything is correct, the existing handwritten code has to be manually tested to comply with its B specification. The code generator provides the skeleton for the body of the component libi that has to be completed with the existing code. Models and source code are available on the dedicated GitHub. Several lectures of the MUCON B are directly related to the current video.